Hey guys, Mapletoe here. Today I'm talking about the recently revealed cover and blurb for the second book in A Starless Clan, titled Sky. Before I get into it, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. So let's start with that cover. It is gorgeous. It's got a lovely faded autumn color palette, which I adore. And I love the format that this arc seems to be taking with the composition, having the full body of the cat in focus visible which I prefer to the floating heads of the Broken Code. And as far as the new style of covers go, this is definitely one of my favorites. I mean, just look at my boy Flame Paw. I've always loved this little guy, and I certainly never thought he'd be on the cover of his very own book. Also featured on the cover is Sunbeam, which makes sense, being another one of the protagonists, and Fidget Flake, which is an interesting choice. I wonder how that'll tie into the story. As for the title, Sky, I'm not surprised at all considering most people guessed that based on book one's title of River, we'd most likely get books titled Sky, Thunder, Shadow, Wind, and Star later this arc. Let's get into that blurb. It's a short one. Disaster has struck at the heart of River Queen, leaving its warriors and its new medicine cat apprentice scrambling to protect their clan, even if it means lying to the others. But at a time when the warrior code itself is shifting, no clan is truly at peace, or truly safe. I don't really want to get my hopes up, but based on this and the cover of River, it very much sounds like Misty Star is going to die this arc. Finally. And while losing a leader is a tragedy for a clan, I'd hardly call it a disaster or something that needs to be hidden. But if Misty Star and Deputy Reed Whisker both die during the same event, leaving River Clan without a leader, that would make perfect sense, and would be something we haven't really seen since Arc 1's Shadow Clan. Am I getting my hopes up because I've been hoping for both these characters' deaths for a long time, and on several occasions have drawn other possible, way more interesting leaders for River Clan? Possibly. But a girl can dream. And they can't live forever, despite evidence to the contrary. Anyways, that's about it for me. Enjoy the rest of the drawing.
Thanks for watching. I'm still very sad about where we left off with the broken code, but cannot wait for a new adventure in the Starless Clan. Let me know your thoughts on this upcoming book, and I'll see you next Thursday.